This is Jeffrey Drazen for the New England Journal of Medicine. College should be a time for learning, personal growth, new friendships, freedom, and fun. For too many young women, however, attending university means confronting the risk of sexual assault. We know this problem is real, yet we've lacked effective interventions to address it. A study of a novel intervention published in the journal offers new insights into this troubling issue. Investigators randomized 900 first-year female students at three Canadian universities to either usual practice, meaning offering women informational brochures and an opportunity to ask questions, or to a 12-hour program that educated participants about assessing risks and overcoming emotional barriers to acknowledging dangers, as well as teaching verbal and physical self-defense. Follow-up surveys showed that the program worked. The one-year risk of completed rape was 9.8% in the control group as compared with 5.2% in the intervention arm. The one-year risk of attempted rape was also significantly reduced from 9.3% in the control group to 3.4% in the intervention arm. Only 22 women would need to take the program to prevent one additional rape from occurring within one year. Of course, effective programs that educate and engage men are also needed. However, these data show the promise of a program that empowers women, adding important insights to inform the critical effort to make university campuses safe for all students.